Hey, I'm Mike Janda. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for jumping in. In this channel, we talk about business stuff and freelance stuff and creative agency ownership stuff. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can increase your prices without the risk of killing your business. You can go from small prices to big prices, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it with zero risk zero risk to killing your business. Uh, before we dig in, check out in the description, you can check out some of my free courses down below. I've got a free proposals and contracts course that will, this is like a masterclass of how I did proposals and contracts at my agency. We did over $30 million of revenue using my proposals and contract system that I teach to you in the free proposals and contracts course which you can check out down in the description. Okay, let's dig into the content. How to increase your prices without killing your business. This can be tricky. It is risky. It's scary to increase your prices. I know. I had clients from year one that like year three, I was still charging them the same amount because I was a little nervous to jump up my prices. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it without any risk. And you probably can't jump from charging $200 for a logo to $10,000 for a logo without some short-term damage to your cash flow. The reason is that if you're currently attracting $200 logo clients, then you they're gonna balk at $10,000 logo projects. If you wanna reposition your business in a dramatic way, you've got to retool all of your market positioning and all of your marketing to attract clients with those bigger budgets. So that big jump idea that I've heard be advised to some creatives is super risky. It's super risky because you're not attracting the right type of clients right now. So this is the way that you're going to be able to do it with that no risk. You can bump your prices up over time. And this is the way that it happens for 99.99% of creatives out there. The prices I was charging in year one for my business were significantly smaller than the prices I was charging in year five. And it's because I consistently was bumping my prices. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that here. It's called pushing the price ceiling. We're gonna push the price ceiling. Now you need to start tracking your win-loss record for every type of project that you have. And here's a little example for you on the screen. Let's say your logo projects, you are bidding $200 for logo projects and you start tracking whether you won or lost the logo project. Now, a lot of you are probably gonna find that you're winning most of your projects. You have a low price point, you're attracting clients that have that budget and you're winning most of those projects at that price point that you're comfortable with. $200, $200. So in this example, we have four projects and we won three of them. You're tracking it. Now you can play the game of pushing the price ceiling. So the next time we start bidding projects, we're gonna be like, let's try charging $300 for logos and you're gonna track how that experiment goes. And a lot of times you're gonna find, whoa, I'm winning three out of four of these projects still. I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna bump those prices again. Let's try bumping it to 700. Let's do a little bit bigger jump. We're not jumping to 10,000, but we're gonna to jump to 700. We're still in the hundreds of dollars. And whoa, I'm still winning three out of four, because you're tracking it. You can see what's happening in your business. So far, there's no downside. There's no risk, no downside. You're just trickling up your price and checking out how the clients are responding. Let's do another bump to 1100. Okay, we crossed the $1,000 barrier. 1100, oh, now we find that we lost three and won one of them. Now we know where the price ceiling is. We pushed and pushed and pushed and we found the ceiling price for the current state of our business. And that ceiling price is somewhere probably between 700, where we were winning three out of four, and probably somewhere between 1100 or 900, somewhere in there. That's the sweet spot where we'll still be winning projects. Not 1100, we saw that we're losing there. So 700 to 900 is probably 
the sweet spot for our current state of our business. You start tracking your win-loss and experiment with prices until you find your price ceiling. You're probably not doing it. I've coached a lot of creative entrepreneurs, and so many of them aren't tracking that. They're just getting all the projects they can without analyzing where that pushback is on their pricing. You want to track it, and you want to run these experiments, these pricing experiments, and pay attention to it. Now, if you want to do the big jump, if you want to do the big jump, you can do it, but you have to retool your business You cannot attract $10,000 logo clients using the same processes that you're using now, the same marketing and brand and portfolio that you're using now to uh, that's attracting $200 clients. You have to push that up. You got to push up your marketing. You got to up your brand. You got to create case studies that look like $10,000 engagements. And then, yeah. Maybe you can make that big jump, but that's not how it goes for most creatives. I bumped my prices over time. And my prices in the early days of my agency, it was like a $5,000 project was a big client. Big, that was a big project or a $12,000 project. I was like, whew, this is getting good. It's, it's a big project. A few years later, we did our first $100,000 project. Like a year after that, we did a couple $300,000 projects. A year after that, we were doing $500,000 project. We, we were getting those bigger projects. And I did it this exact way, just bumping that price ceiling. That's what you can do with no risk, no risk to your business. Let me show you this little spreadsheet that I have that um, I, I include this in my course, but it's not that complicated. You can make this right now. Just grab Google Docs and make the Google Sheet on this. You got on one column proposal, you've got the date, You've got the client, and then you have the project type, and you can track all the different kinds of project types that you have. Web design, logo design, signage, web maintenance, brand strategy, whatever you're doing in your business. And you're gonna put your price on that other column, and then you're gonna determine whether you won or lost the project, and then there's a little column for notes. And in the notes, you're gonna put things that help you remember why you lost a project or why you won the project. You could even put in there, I ran, was running experiment at $300 for these. This was experiment number one, two, three, and four. Or you can put on there, the client decided to go with their existing agency, or the client decided to do this in-house, or the client decided to put this on hold. Why did you lose it and why did you win it? Was it even a pushback on price? Because sometimes it's not even a pushback on price. Sometimes they're pushing back for other reasons. So you make a little spreadsheet like that and you start tracking this in your business and you run these pricing experiments and you can uh, continually increase your prices over time with very, very little risk to your business. All right, I hope that gives you some things to think about for your creative business. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, Like I said at the start, check out my free courses down below and hit the like button, subscribe, drop a comment, all that stuff that helps the channel. Thanks so much. We'll see you again in another video sometime in the future.